The storm Colin left a path of destruction in parts of Pinellas County. Roads were flooded, trees toppled over. News Channel H Jamel Lene joining us live tonight from Snell Isle. And um, I guess you've seen a lot of damage today. It looks like you had seen a tree rip up a sidewalk or something like that. What all have you seen, Jamel? Well, Keith, you know what? I'll let, let the images speak for itself. Just imagine how strong those tropical winds had to be to knock over this 125-year-old tree and then lift up part of the sidewalk. Tonight, Pinellas County residents are cleaning up after Tropical Storm Colin. Tropical Storm Colin may be gone, but it did not leave without making an impact on Pinellas County. Major roadways were flooded before the crack of dawn. Cars stalled out along MLK and 64th Avenue North in St. Pete. Lucille Taylor watched it all from her front door. But when it started coming down really, really hard, the water went up in the street and floods up and up until it finally comes all the way up here into my yard. Much of that water got into her home. It was coming in my front door. I had to keep putting towels in there to keep the water from coming in from the front door. Not even the wall she built could keep water from doing damage in her garage. It's all wet too. She wants more help from the city. And they know this floods because I call them every time it's real bad and ask them, can't you have somebody come out here and slow traffic down and stuff and I keep getting the same answers we don't have the resources to do that across the bridge on Snell Owl tropical winds knocked down this 125 year old massive tree it's just a beautiful old tree I mean we always comment on it every time we go walking it's just beautiful yeah so it's really sad <laughs> Stacy Wirtz enjoyed the attraction in the neighborhood. You know, they always are, you know, put lights up on the street and, you know, for Halloween and for Christmas. This is her and her family's first tropical storm. They moved here a year ago. But how do you prepare for someone who this is your first her official hurricane season you're going through? I don't know. I need to get online and find out what to do to prepare. <laughs> So city crews, they just finished sawing down this tree about an hour ago. Now we are checking with city emergency officials to figure out when they plan to come back and fix the rest of this sidewalk. Keith? Boy, those big old tree roots can tear something up when they go down. And we know thousands of people also lost power in that area. Have you heard about the power being restored? Is it all back on? Well, I did check in with Duke Energy, and they tell me that at least 3,500 customers tonight are still without power. But the good news is that they say that power will be restored by 6 p.m. tonight or at least tomorrow. Keith? All right, Jamel Lene, live in St. Petersburg for us tonight. Thank you.